it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm filming in a new spot today um, just because it's a little bit brighter over here in this part of my room. So excuse the mess in the background. Um, I usually just clean up the stuff in the background. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for all of your positive feedback on all of the videos I posted and thank you for watching this video. Um, today I just wanted to talk about um, beauty in the world versus what God says is beauty because a lot of people struggle with this. Women, men, uh, young, old, we all struggle with beauty. So um, what the world usually says is beautiful, for a woman at least. Um, is somebody who has clear skin, um, maybe blonde hair, blue eyes, they're like 5'7", they weigh 120 pounds, but that's just not the case. Um, a lot of people just aren't made that way, but that doesn't mean you're not beautiful. In God's eyes, beauty is different. Beauty is not so much the outward, it's really what's inside. And when people tell themselves, when I was younger, I definitely, um, I've struggled with this. Every girl struggled with this. Um, a lot of guys have struggled with this. Um, but when we say, when we look at ourselves and we see, oh my gosh, my forehead's too big. My nose is too big. I have pimples. My skin isn't clear. This or that. And we say, oh my gosh, I'm so ugly. That, I believe, is insulting to God. Um, think about it like this. This is the metaphor I always use. So you have this painting that you just painted, and it took a long time, it took a lot of hard work, and it has caused uh, you to have a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and you're finally done with it, and you look at it, and it is so beautiful to you. And then you give it to somebody, and they say, oh, well, I don't like the way this looks, or this is the wrong color, this is the wrong shape, and they don't like it, and they criticize it. How does it make you feel? You feel like, oh my gosh, well, I just spent so much time and effort putting into that picture and it looks beautiful and they said it was ugly and it kind of hurts your feelings. It is kind of the same thing with God. When you look at yourself and you're like, oh my gosh, I, this and that, it's so ugly. I hate this part of me. God, why am I like this? It's criticizing the master. You were created in God's image. So God made you how you're supposed to look. Whether you think you have a big forehead or not, you are beautiful in God's eyes. So you might say, well, Rebecca, what is God's definition of beauty then? Um, I believe that God looks at the inner um, the inner beauty more than the outer beauty. And in 1 Peter 3, uh, verse 3 through 6, he says, Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes. Instead, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. For this is the way the holy women of the past, who put their hope in God, used to make themselves beautiful. They were submissive to their own husbands, like Sarah, who obeyed Abraham and called him the master. You are her daughters if you do what is right and do not give way to fear. And this is important. It basically says that to God, to be beautiful is a gentle, is a gentle and um, meek spirit. Um, and I just think that we obsess over how clear our skin is, how beautiful we, how beautiful we are on the outside. But one day our faces are going to get wrinkles. One day we're going to have gray hair. And that's just a part of aging. That's just what's going to happen. And you can't stop aging. But you, when you are 70 years old and you have wrinkles and gray hair, you can still have that gentle, meek spirit inside of you. And that... You should look at the things that are lasting. Beauty, outward beauty, physical beauty is not going to last forever. But the hope of heaven and the hope of Jesus, or the hope of heaven that we have in Jesus, means that beauty coming from a gentle and meek spirit is the beauty of eternal significance, which doesn't fade. We need to start focusing on beauty that won't fade, qualities in you that won't fade. You need to um, read the Bible, you'll be again. And when you have a relationship with Jesus, um, you will begin to collect the fruits of the Spirit and you'll become seasoned. So that is all for today's video. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.